What's up ladies and gents? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. It's another episode of the F122 My Team Career Mode. Today we're off to Suzuka. Should be a good Grand Prix this one. If you haven't watched the last video, I highly recommend you go check that out if you want a nap. Um, we DNF'd on lap 10 at Singapore. Uh, we had front wing damage on the second lap, it was a rain soaked Grand Prix, and I broke my one game plan of don't smash the car, so... Yeah, we drove around in last 40 seconds behind for about uh, 7 laps, then damaged the front wing again, then damaged the front wing while trying to let the lead lap cars pass, so I just said screw it, I'm retiring the car. There's no point in me driving. Anyways, today we are on to Japan. Uh, should be a good Grand Prix this one. I have my good and bad days around Japan. Hopefully, for Christ's sake, today is not a bad day. But, I'm hoping to hear something about these regulation changes. It would really make my day if we got something about the regulation changes. Also, Fernando Alonso announced he's retiring, so I can't sign him for next year. But, guys, let me, give me some ideas. Who, who would you want to see me sign for next year? Because there's a few people I'm looking at here, like... Uh, maybe Danny Rick, Valtteri maybe, uh, Pierre is a good option, Lando Norris, Carlos Sainz, Sergio Perez, George Russell's a good option, Alex Albin, Kevin Magnussen, I'm not signing Stroll, maybe Ocon, but give me some ideas, who would you want to see on the team, because I'm open, I can, I, I'm open to pretty well anything, so you guys just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Anyways, time for the Suzuka international racing course the Japanese Grand Prix let's get it on okay I need your attention yes the tech regulations are changing there's a risk some of our hard work will be undone so we need to mitigate it oh for Christ's sake it's raining for Suzuka too and tell us what areas you want to invest in protecting oh my god it's like three different departments jeez oh that Adapt, 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 adapt. Okay, durability can wait, but we need to chassis. Durability. So we adapted all of our parts. Let's go! Oh my goodness, this could help us out big time. This could help us out big time. Oh, let's go, baby. Now we can just focus on upgrading Arrow for the rest of the season. Oh, that is actually prime. I love it. More we rain. come to you live today from the Mi Prefecture Fun. in the south of Japan's Honshu Island for a race that has seen many title deciders over the years. Some simple, some controversial, but all contributing to a legacy that makes the Japanese Grand Prix an indispensable stop in any Formula One season. We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at a wet and windy Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here, with Sector 1 likely to prove especially difficult in these conditions. We should see overtaking into turns 1 and 16 today, maybe a few Kobayashi-style dives into the hairpin as well. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Norris, Sergio Perez, and Russell. Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, and Daniel Ricciardo. Ocon, Sonoda, Kevin Magnussen, and Mick Schumacher. Joe, Bottas, Alex Albon. Not last. Spons, Vettel, Stroll, Oscar Piastri, and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. Well, it's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today, 
Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Okay, this is our engine supplies home Grand Prix, so let's give them a race worth watching. Oh, this is even worse. This is full wet. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, I would say the strategy for today is don't smash the car, but that was our strategy for last week and it didn't go very well for us. So... I don't know. Wing it, I guess. Yeah, that start really hurt us, to say the least. Now I just gotta try to keep pace with these guys. Not do. Okay, we're like monitoring that. somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be of aware that we're start to see a loss of power. Oh, Magnus is in the pits. What the hell? Must have front wing damage or something. The heavy braking zones is definitely where I make the time up on them. And not doing crap like that is where I'm gonna lose time. Or doing crap like that is where I'm gonna lose time. Dude, I'd like to see you try and use overtake in these conditions. Holy. OK, 
say you're catching the car ahead, but remember, we need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. my chance at overtaking anybody. This car just doesn't want to go straight. Now I'm just getting some wet weather practice around here because friggin' Well, I mean, the car just didn't want to go for me, go straight for me, that one lap at all, so. And that's why Stroll's eight seconds ahead of me, and Magnus in the seven. So, I guess we'll have someone to race with soon. Well, at least Oscar's holding it down. Where is he, 17th? Well, that's good for him. Well, missed that corner a little bit. Okay, be careful. I think you're gonna start losing some tire grip anytime now. I've been losing tire grip for like three laps now. Mainly this whole race, and then my wheel just freaking snapped out of place. Good god. If this was a dry race, I'm sure we'd be doing a lot better, but having to learn these tracks in, in a whole new car in wet conditions is definitely not ideal, but oh well, make do with what we got, I guess. I look forward to next season when the car is a lot more well, competitive. Okay, you're doing well out there. Keep it up. We're looking at about 10 more minutes of rain. 10 minutes. Okay, gaps in the car ahead is 9.6 uh, seconds. Trying to change it to intermediates. Alright, I swear to God, if y'all don't put me on the intermediates, I'm going to be pissed. We're going to give it a shot. I mean, we're already going to finish last, or, well, might as well be last. Anything lower than 11th might as well be last, so let's just come on down, get some, get some into, see how it goes. Might as well try it. I mean, we got nothing to lose, really. Might as well try it. Maybe we got nothing to lose. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. I definitely feel a lot quicker on these intermediates. Might give me a chance at a fastest lap. I just seen I set a purple last sector. Not if I'm overdriving the corner like that though. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. We're currently trailing our teammate by 33.3 seconds.
Definitely having the intermediates on suits my driving style a lot more. Oh, I say that and I damn near spin it. I definitely made up some time on the powers ahead. Leclerc wins by the looks of it. Yep, Charles Leclerc, winner of the Japanese Grand Prix. Come on. Oh, crap. Can you tell I'm pushing it? If only we were a bit closer to these guys up in front, because with these intermediates, we're just so much better and quicker. We've only got two laps of fuel left. There's only half a lap left, Mark. Come on, let me go through 130 R full throttle. I want to try it. Damn it, this game. And it's a last place finish, but something to be proud of, I guess. The fact that we still kept going and drove through all that was actually something to be half decently proud of, considering, especially considering how bad that car was in the beginning of the race. Oh my god, that was off. A brilliant win on the beloved figure of eight circuit. Leclerc wins again, back to back. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? It's a heroic it's a effort. Red Bull second and third too. These, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and had the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. Good win by Charles. It's gonna, it's gonna keep this championship fight a little closer. So Leclerc wins, followed by Verstappen, Perez, Hamilton, Sainz, Norris, Gasly, Russell in eighth. Oh my god, what the hell happened to Russell? Uh, Alonso, Ricardo, Ocon, Sonoda almost getting points his home Grand Prix. Uh, Mick Schumacher, Guang Yuzhou, Alex Albon, Sebastian Vettel, Piastri, Bottas, Latifi, Stroll, Magnussen, and myself. Uh, standings, this is how it looks. Uh, Leclerc's 31 points behind Verstappen at the moment, and in Constructors, uh, Ferrari are 98 points ahead of Red Bull. So that's how it's looking there. Uh, when it comes to... <clears throat> oh, my throat. But when it comes to today's race, uh, there's nothing to really be disappointed about, I mean... We sucked on the wet tires, and then we brought it back some. We were on the intermediates, and I'm proud of myself for sticking with it and keeping at it that whole race. So it's gonna be a boring watch, I know, but yeah, I'm proud of myself for sticking with it, even because Japan's a hard track to drive, especially even in the dry. It's a hard track to drive, so even just completing that race in the wet's a lot to be proud of, I guess. My fastest? Did I get in the 142s with my fastest lap? Uh, it's 143 and a half. Would have put me in like 12. Eh, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, next race will be the race. Uh, we're going to start from the back. We're going to get a bunch of new components here on the car. Gonna get, we might as well get a new everything, really. Um, boom, 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 boom. Get a new everything. Start from the back. Um... Yeah, 
Next race is Coda, so we're gonna take our grid penalty at Coda. I got a new radio call. What's this? You can take that to the bank. Yeah, I like that. We're about the money here. We 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 like talking money at Legacy Motor Club. But um, anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for this episode of the F122 My Team Career Mode. I'd like to thank you all so so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to have your view again as always, and. Until next time, I will see you next week at CODA. So, until next time, guys, take care. Uh, follow my social medias, like, comment, subscribe, do the business. Take care, and peace!